What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Um, it's free general collective reading for all signs. Cast your side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. I've seen another channel link. I hope everybody's doing well. I do, I do, I do here. Okay, so the channel message I received was, of course, only take the messages resonate and leave the rest, okay? Um, the channel message I received was um, someone that I heard your feminine energy, your feminine energy, excuse me, and I heard another feminine energy that lives inside your household. So you're a femme energy and there's another femme energy that lives inside your household. I heard she is secretly, um, she has been secretly working with a masculine energy, dark side masculine energy in your community um, to try to get you put in jail. But I heard it has backfired and it will continue to backfire. Um, I heard she, uh, she comes across like she's very caring, loving, and kind to you, but secretly she wants to steal your life. <laughs> oh, damn. Like, what is up with these folks? And that's just the damn truth. Like, oh, peace, love, and light. And then they want to fucking 30 swords you to take everything you fucking have. Like, what is up with, why don't you go out and grow and manifest your own damn self? And that's just the truth. Besides trying to get people put in jail and working with people to try to get you put in jail. And it sounds like whoever you are, feminine energy, you don't even deserve it. To steal your shit. I mean, damn. What? Did people not believe in going out and working hard for what they fucking have? And that's just the truth. What has happened to society's belief systems these days? And I'm just being serious. So whoever you are, you're a feminine energy. And it's a feminine energy that lives in your household. So she currently lives in your household, ma'am, if this resonates for you. Now, I feel she can be anybody. It can be anybody, whoever she is. A mama, a grandmama, a roommate, a friend, a friend. Well, she wouldn't be a friend. A friend of me. Um, whoever. A, a, a daughter, whoever. Somebody currently in your household. Okay? But she has been working with the masculine energy. Very he The masculine energy hurts very heavily in the public eye. Now, she may or may not be, but he definitely is. The masculine energy she's been secretly working with behind the scenes to try to get you put in jail. He's very heavily in the public eye. Um, but she's been secretly, she lives in your household and she's been secretly working with him to try to get you put in jail. To try to steal your shit, take your shit, um, and create negative tower moments for you. So she, and I heard she comes across very giving, um, not giving, very caring, loving, and kind. So like she cares about you and blase, blase, blase. But really, she's 50 fucking swords in you in the back. Um, so very frenemy energy, very frenemy false mask energy, basically. Ah, 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 ah! Just saying, just saying. Damn. I heard it. Um, I heard it's already backfired and will continue to backfire. Well, that's what she gets. Like I said, if she wants shit, why don't you go out and get a job, get a side hustle, go to school. Besides trying to take your shit. Because I heard the whole premise of the reason she wants you put in jail is to take your shit. Go out and work hard for what you have or go get a skill or a trade. And I'm just being for real, for real. Damn. You, feminine energy, you've already got intuitive spikes about her. And she knows you have. Just know it will continue to backfire on her. In very unexpected ways. Okay, so you, feminine energy, if this resonates for you, the one that's uh, your frenemy-esque type, this could be a family member, a friend, um, uh, Whoever, a roommate, whoever, somebody that lives in your your home, though. She lives in your home with you currently now. You have already gotten intuitive spikes about her. You've already gotten intuitive spikes about her. 
Um, and I heard you're right. You are right. Whatever intuitive spikes they are. I heard, but just know, Fem Energy, she's gonna continue. She's gonna continue to receive some kind of negative karma. Um, it sounds like she already has in the universe, and she's going to continue. Um, but she, the whole goal here, she's been trying to put your ass in jail. How terrible is that? I mean, why don't people focus on growing and manifesting themselves, but try besides trying this behind the scenes shit? And that's just the truth. I mean, behind the scenes nasty shit. This person is like, if they do this kind of shit behind the scenes, they are obviously dark arts. And that's just damn true. You cannot really be light side and love, light, and healing if you're doing this shit behind the scenes. And that's just the truth. Feminine energy that she's been trying to do this to, you might get contact from one of her family members soon. Okay, so you, Fem energy, if this resonates for you, the one that she's been trying to put in jail and steal your life and steal your shit and all this, um, I heard you might end up getting contact from one of her family members soon, ma'am. Um, I'm guessing highlighting the truth of how she really is. So I heard from one of her family members. So if this resonates for you, I don't think she's a family member of yours, um, but she definitely lives with you. She definitely lives with you. Um, however that resonates, but I heard you might get contact from one of her family members soon. So I don't think she is one of your family members because of that. Um, so I think she might be a roommate or friend, i.e. a friend of me or something like that. Um, somebody is not a true friend, loyal, kind, caring, and uh, trustworthy if they secretly want to put you in jail and take your shit. If anybody needs to hear that. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Brave. This is the femme energy. Secret. How, how, what should I say? Um, I don't. Damn. Like. A secret. Demon. Like a secret demon. Damn. And whoever you are, I feel you might um have worked hard for everything you have earned. You most certainly have, but it's about to backfire on her in such a huge way. Okay, I heard you most certainly have, but it's about to backfire on her in such a huge way. Yeah, damn. I feel like she would go around trying to pull your hair and, um, like, drown you underneath the flooding water or some crazy shit. And you're a femme energy, too. But she doesn't want you to know she's like that, of course. Or... She might try to feed you something poisonous or something like that. <coughs> like the witch in Snow White with the apple. Here you go, my pretty. <laughs> like that shit. So your message is your evidence like this. Or take it upright with the body upright, volcano. And bravery. She is contemplated poisoning you. Oh my god, I heard she's contemplated poisoning you. So she lives in your household and she has contemplated poisoning you. What the hell? Whoa! Fuck! Somebody needs to identify this crazy psychopath that lived with you and hopefully boot her ass out or create a series of chain events to get her out. Damn, this is crazy. Volcano, the body, bravery. This person is about to be, this feminine energy will be mortified through many series of chain of events, publicly and privately, and she's about to get a very confidential 
phone communication that will be intercepted by someone she would have never expected. The, the one that lives with you that wants to put you in jail and poison you. Okay, the one that lives with you that wants to put you in jail poison you. Okay, so her phone's being hacked. I'll tell you that. Her phone's being hacked. Whether she knows it's being hacked or not, um, her phone is being hacked. Um, damn. But in this case, I'm glad it's being hacked because if you resonate over here, hopefully, whoever's hacking it, hopefully it's an investigator or a fed or someone important that will actually help you, ma'am. Um, hopefully they can catch some evidence of maybe she put in the phone communication through a text, an email, or a messenger or something that she wanted to poison you to somebody and get some evidence on that shit because her, she wanted to poison you. Um, or there might be some evidence of her, hopefully there's evidence in there about her sending the communication to the masculine energy, very public, in the public eye in your community that she was trying to set you up to get you put in jail. Um, but I heard, um, she's about to be publicly humiliated and privately humili humiliated, and there's about to be some kind of communication in her phone, I guess sent from someone not in your household, ma'am. Um, that's about to basically, uh, it's about to be a nail in the coffin for her. It's about to be nail in the coffin for her. It's about to be nail in the coffin for her. So it's about, it's about to catch her in some kind of murder plot or, um, set up or something like that. It's going to create, I think, uh, she's about to be publicly humiliated. So I think this is her temper about to freaking go all bananas. She might. Fly off the handle on your ass, possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates. But, you know, that's what you get for trying to secretly trying to put somebody in jail. And that's just the damn truth. She took your kindness for weakness, but she's about to have a huge ass wake up call. She took your kindness for weakness, but she already has. Okay, she took your kindness for weakness, but she's already had a huge wake up call and she's about to have another one. So whoever this, she she's a huge, like, she takes advantage of people, basically. She takes advantage of situations and people is what it sounds like. Her, she took your kindness for weakness. So you were kind to her in some shape, form, or fashion, ma'am, in the past. But she likes to step on people's kindness and take it for weakness. So basically, take advantage of people. I think there's about to be arguments or upset behavior or something of this nature regarding hope um, or something of that nature. Or maybe the person that intercepts the communication between her and uh, somebody else regarding either poisoning or trying to get you put in jail or something else regarding you, ma'am. Hopefully... Somebody will get pissed about, somebody's about to intercept this. There's a reason they're intercepting her communication on her phone is what I'm saying with the hacking. But it doesn't sound like they're doing this out of malice and spite. It sounds like this might be protecting, protect her energy. The person about to intercept this communication is about to fly off the fucking handle. She wanted you put in jail so bad through many series of shame events, she very well may go there. Okay, I heard the person inter intercepting this communication. Um, they're about to fly off the fucking handle. So, uh, Volcano, they're about to get very, very, very upset. Um, whatever it is, it's not good towards you, ma'am. She's like a wolf in sheep's clothing. She smiles in your face and eh, 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 behind your back wants to take your life, basically. Um, but um, the person intercepting this communication is about to fly off the handle. I heard she wanted you in jail so bad, she might end up going there soon. Now, I didn't hear she was going to end up going there soon, but she might. But whoever's intercepting this communication, whether they come towards you or her, they're about to be pissed because they're about to realize 
all this chasey shit she's doing to you behind the scenes. And it's about to motivate them to help you even more. And it's about to motivate them to help you even more. And it's about to motivate the person, whether it's a Fed, a private investigator, or whoever the hell it is, to help you even more, ma'am. Good. Buddy. And whoever you are, I heard you might end up hearing from one of her family members soon. So that's significant too, ma'am. Um, I think she might have a history of taking advantage of people or robbing them or trying to get them put in jail or something or poisoning them. Body. Sickness is significant for her. And people have been trying to get you sick in the past. Sickness is significant for her. So, so she has some kind of sickness in her, I think, physical body in some shape, form, or fashion. So she has some kind of sickness in some shape, form, or fashion. Or she's about to. How that resonates applies. So body, physical body, sickness, whether it's already in her body or is about to occur in her body. And I heard people have been trying to get you sick in the past. So they were trying to get you ill in your body in the past. But she has some, either already has some kind of sickness in her body or is about to acquire it. Physical body here, health, physical health. And if she already has a sickness, the volcano energy, it might precipitate. It might speed up, possibly. Bravery. She does not eat healthy. For her, Ill, for her illness. And it's about to precipitate things in a huge way. She does not eat healthy for her illness. And it's about to precipitate things in a huge way. So whoever this energy is, ma'am, that lives with you. That's either attempted poison you in the past. Try to get you put in jail. Take shit, shit or whatever, whatever, whatever. She doesn't eat healthy. She doesn't eat healthy things. She doesn't put proper nutrition into her body to help combat the disease or diseases. It sounds like it helps feed the diseases. Um, so her lack of healthy eating choices is about to basically precipitate and speed up some kind of illness or illnesses. Now, I didn't hear specifically what they are. Bravery. You are very brave, Fib Energy. Very brave. There are many series of shame events. You will be rid of this person. One, you already know this. For one, it's about to come to, to a surprise for you. Okay, so there's at least two of you, two of you, Fib Energy. So, um, there are many series of shame events. One, you're about to be rid of this person. So, you're about to be rid of this 
secret, want to poison you, want to put you in jail, take your shit, take your life, whatever, whatever. One, you're about to be rid of them, but you know you're about to be rid of them. So how that resonates and applies. And for one, you don't know you're about to be rid of them so soon, but through many series of chain events, it's about to happen. Um, you're very brave. So maybe whoever is about to intercept these messages or communication or phone situation over here where her phone's being hacked and she doesn't know it, um, maybe somebody steps up and comes in and helps you um, because you've been so brave. Whoever you are, you're still here. You're not poisoned, I'll tell you that. You're not poisoned. You're not in jail. And um, you have survived the dark arts, shicey, sneaky tactics of whoever the hell this is. I'll tell you that right now. Your openness and talking about what's going on in your life is really helping you. Talking about it within reasonable scope is really helping you. Because people are figuring out what's going on without crossing boundaries. It will continue to help you. Okay, so whoever you from Fem Energy are that's very brave, um, you openly talk about your life in a very healthy, copacetic way, not like a crossing boundaries kind of way. So I think you have a public social media platform um, or you might have trusted friend or friends that you got confide in or people or whoever, whoever, ever. But you definitely have some route, whether it's trusted friend or friends, community members or social media platform where you don't go too much in de detail and depth about your situation, but you set healthy boundaries and state basically it sounds like overall what's going on with you or people around you or your life or what have you what have you but in a healthy boundary setting kind of way i heard it's uh, already benefited you and it's going to continue to benefit you so people know what's going on without crossing boundaries and and that's the thing if you have a social media platform you know it's of course it's okay to only speak just obviously speak on yourself or what have you what have you um you know not crossing p other people's business boundaries of course not but Speaking on yourself or your life or what have you, what have you, in a healthy, not crossing boundaries kind of way, is what I'm saying. Whoever you are, you do. You do. I don't think you share too much or you're too raunchy or you're going around displaying your boobs all to God bless America or whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, I think you talk about things in a healthy boundary setting kind of way because I heard you did. But I heard it's already benefited you and it will continue. So um, I love you guys. I hope this helps so much and namaste. Somebody needs to be careful. There's at least two of you fems in the universe, and I'm serious. Somebody needs to be careful of this chickadoo living with you. Um, one, I heard you're being rid of her soon, so I think she's planned on leaving soon, or you had planned on her leaving soon, or something like that. For one, you haven't, but through series of chain events, she's about to be out of there. But I think for one, it might be maybe that uh, person that's about to intercept the phone communication, her phone being hacked, and help you get that bitch out of there. At least I hope. I love you guys. Namaste.